It's a box, is there? Oh! Jeez. What? Alright, so we're going to show you how to build the anchor base. This is a supporting base that you would stick out in the middle of the water. Now, yes, this is above the water right now because we have to build this in a very weird way because we're in a in between horse apocalypse and everything else that's happening here. So this base is meant to have the water line just below the stone there at the top. So like maybe two wooden bars down. Ouchie. So yeah, right about there. So most of this base would be submerged. So it's meant to look like a very inconspicuous 2x2. Two uh, with a little triangle entrance there. And this is where you would typically enter. This would be completely submerged. And so the water line would be right here above the frame. So it's just enough to be completely underwater, making the wood very hard to rate. So uh, we're going to try to do this the best we can. You'd actually have a wood piece here. And so this would be your entrance. So you'd enter underwater. You would close this. Now remember, you can't flame rate anything underwater. Now can you? Then you would jump up here. Then you've got a shotgun trap. There'd be like a wood cap on that. And then you've got your furnace, your sleeping bag, and your workbench. And then enough supplies to get you started. Now, again, not a huge, like, crazy base or anything that's going to give you a lot of protection. But it's enough out of the way, and it looks janky enough that most people aren't going to mess with it. Well, we're back here. We're actually sitting in a real version of this anchor base. This has been here for two weeks. And you can see we're living outside of the harbor. And it looks like cargo ship is coming right up next to us. Now, the reason why we did that on land is because it's going to be a bit easier to do or show you this because the water got really dark. I have a feeling it's going to be dark, but not this dark, if that makes sense. So that's why we kind of did it over there. So that way, you, at least you guys can see what this looks like. Um, I didn't bring my mask out here, did I? But you see how inconspicuous this looks? You're just like, oh, this base is trash. A little more decked out here. We've got um, some of the base, actually. Actually, we don't even have the triangle protected at all. It's just two of the squares have been protected. It's all wood. Nobody's touched this thing. We've had a couple people sniff, but for the most part, it's good to go. Nice to see the cargo ship just coming by. That's why we do it. Uh-oh. Shh, 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 shh. Yeah, so this underwater section is supposed to be a lot brighter, especially with the light on, but it's actually been completely shut out. So we're going to try to do the foundation as like a helper piece here in the darkness. Oh, is that a boat right there? Oh boy, we should go steal that. I'm a big fan of having the bandana and frog boots while we do this. You might be like, why is that, Jade? Watch. You can hotkey your goggles and your flippers. All right, this is the hardest. Oops, we need a paddle. The hardest part is finding the right depth and then coming back up and doing the check. So if anything, I think this will be the biggest help. Yeah, the idea is that you do this in the middle of like a really hostile server. And hopefully up on the back of Fishing Village or Harbor. It's surprising how close we can get to the harbor on the back side. See how dark that is? That is crazy. So your best bet is to whip out your building plans here. Definitely practice this on Builder's Paradise. But again, we're looking for almost three tiles completely submerged. Two tiles, and I would say like 80% of the third tile, right above the last frame. So we're going to try to do that back here. We're going to place one of these here. It's so dark down here. One two and then let's just see if the door frame comes above here oops we bring a paddle with us oh we did good 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 that is right on the line actually so we'll kind of leave this as a reference if we go up just a little bit higher than that we're kind of good because we want it above the door frame technically this would work but yeah so we want to be able to place two tiles right next to this so if we can just get really close Man, dude, I don't like this new darkness. So see how we're like back there? I can bring it up just a little bit. So I'm using that as reference because it needs to be kind of light out. Stop sticking to it. I'm bringing it up just a little bit, and we should be okay. All right, so we have that there. And so if I just bring up this 
wall frame, wall frame, and then the door frame. Whoop. Dude, we're just using silhouettes. That's how belligerent this is. I mean, that's so hard to see. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That'll work. So we're going to go next door and smash the rest. And we'll just build up to show you how this is done here. Hopefully we can get the whole thing. It's offside. All right, so this one's looking good. Let's commit. So we're going to bring out the... We're going to bust out the hammer and this darkness puddle that we're in. And we're going to make this one stone to start. Then we're going to make the rest of this wood on the way up. Perfect. Just so you can see what we're doing here. Then we're going to go back down again. Dude, it's crazy how dark this is. Now you're going to use a wooden frame. I'm going to try to make it so we can see a lot of silhouette here because that's the only thing we have. <laughs> it's so bad. So uh, frame. Then here is where you're going to put a triangle off this frame. It's so hard to even tell what you built. So we're going to make all of this wood that we just placed. And again, we'll come back up to show you what we've done. It is so dark. Look, I have a light on. That's crazy. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to do another uh, wall on this side. It's going to make this even more dark. you got to make sure you're doing soft side towards you. Again, double, triple check on the way up. So I'm going to pull back so you can see the silhouette because that's all we have. Then we're going to put more wall frames up the side piece here to protect the foundation. And honestly, I think we're just going to put the doors on here and call it a day for this underside because it is stupid. Actually, no. What we're going to do is one more side here. We're going to use some more wall frames on this bottom piece. Oops, we're gonna make. See how this one's like uh, twig. We gotta come up here and make this stone. Good way to check is just to hold the left trigger and then see what uh, options you have. So definitely we need to make that stone. Then we're gonna put wooden frames here on this side only, and then make these wood immediately because it'll be so hard for us to keep track of this. <laughs> My goodness. And what we're gonna do is place a floor tile here, and we're gonna make that wood come up and immediately change it to wood. All right, and then we're going to back up so you can kind of see the silhouette. And the top of the water is just above this door frame. So still, virtually nothing is showing. Now we're going to take these fancy boy doors. This is why you want a scooby kit, by the way, to get this started. I don't know if I said that in the beginning, but you do. You need them. We're just going to place doors on this backside to protect this first foundation. Try to have the doors facing towards you, but hey, I wouldn't blame you if you couldn't see it. Because it's dark. That way we've just got these protected completely. We'll wait for the other ones to finish. Now, the beauty of this is we can kind of come up here now and start to work on the surface. Thank goodness. So what you're going to do here is you're going to place more walls, wooden walls, soft side facing you. Be sure to hit the triangle here. See how dark that is? It's the middle of the day. That's insane. What you think? That's crazy. I'm gonna make that wood and this wood. I'm gonna try to stay above the water the most I can. And now what you can do, thank goodness, is if you have enough for another small wooden door, you can do that. And then make sure you have a couple more locks. But the beauty now is you take your roof triangle and build it back here. And now we should be able to walk up this ramp. Thank goodness. And we still don't have a TC yet. Place your floor. Place your floor. Stone to start. And then if we don't, I don't know if we have enough. Uh, yeah, we might have enough stone. So you always want this base to be parallel to the shoreline so you can place a boat on this side. Sorry, we don't have custom servers yet, so I can't fly backwards and show you all this stuff. I wish. And we're going to place our tool cupboard here, which I probably should have done to begin with. We're going to place it out here, but in the meantime, we'll make our shelf for this back side. Oops, we need this up first, don't we? Perfect. 
We're actually just waiting on the tool cover to be finished now. All right, we're going to go underwater real fast and then place our door and then the lock right here because this is going to be your main entrance. So have it open away from you. I know it's absolutely impossible to see right now. And then uh, you hit the wooden lock on there because we're cheap. This is how you normally get in the base. Oops, I put the wood down there like a dummy. And we're going to place this here. Knobs out. Lock it, place your extra materials inside. Thank goodness. This is the end of the wipe, so hopefully no one's going to get me. I don't want anybody to get me. Obviously lock this up if you're getting attacked a lot. If you can get the TC and a lock on there, it's a good start. Because then even if you get smoked, most people aren't going to have the supplies to come over there and totally take you out. Most. not saying it's not impossible. People, if you tick off the right people, <laughs> they will come for you. Regardless. So now you can see how the rest of this is flushed out. Don't know if I have enough stone for the rest of this. Um... It's close. We're awfully close. We place this here, and then we make this wood. So if you want to expand to the rooftop, you can. Uh, that's a good choice. And then what we do here is you just place wooden frames and wooden doors, and you place your things like your level one and your sleeping bag up here, and your extra furnacio. Place your tool, or I should say your tool cabinet, your boxes inside of your tool cabinet room any way you desire but this way they have to stone rage you to get all the way in and then hopefully if you have uh, enough metal at some point you want to make this stone and then make one of these doors metal and it's usually enough to keep people off your back and the beauty of this is it looks so low key most people aren't going to mess with it but they never see you enter or leave because you're always underwater so then what you want to do is really stockpile a lot of your scuba equipment and use that to um, just kind of go in and out because then you can just go out there and farm anything and everything in the ocean, whether it be the float sams. Oh, here's somebody coming right now. Look at that. They didn't even know I was there, dude. They didn't even know I was there. I just left the base. Perfect example of why this base works so dang well is because they never see you enter or leave. And as long as you've got that workbench to fill up your scuba tank, you're good to go. I mean, look, I mean, you can barely see them now because of the murky waters, but we have all of those crash sites. Crash sites? Those are crash sites. Those are, what are those? Shipwrecks. Jeez. In the water. But you do have to look out for sharks and stuff. But yeah, you really only have to worry about um, full-on raids. You don't really have to worry about flame raids. And uh, people can kind of door camp you with harpoons but for the most part that's going to take a lot of dedication and you'll hear them outside so as you can see these bases look very inconspicuous so that's the anchor that's what we have so far so hopefully that helps you out 